Hey, Sun Devil fans, Sandy Charles here, and I'm joined by our publisher, Hode Rubino, for devilsdigest.com, and we are at Wells Fargo Arena, where ASU just took down the Wildcats for the first time since 2015, and the first time in Hurley era. Final score, 95-88 in OT, so making them 15-6 and 6-3 six and six and in Pac-12 play. So Hode, ASU's three-point defense has been an issue all year long. Arizona was shooting 14 of 28, and that came very close to costing ASU. Let's talk about that. Yeah, exactly, because uh, I looked at the box score deep into the second half. Arizona, Arizona State was shooting 75% from the field and still was in an absolute dogfight just because of the three-point shooting by, uh, by Arizona. It seemed like every time AC was getting on some kind of run, U of A would answer with, with, uh, with three-pointer, and U of A obviously led uh, for, for a good several minutes in the second half just because of, because, because of three-point shooting. I also thought conversely, when AC was trying to close out on those shooters, uh, U of A did a really good job uh, dri driving to the basket and, uh, and uh, either, either scoring uh, an easy layup or, or really just uh, drawing, drawing a lot of fouls. So, yeah, the defense for Arizona Arizona State uh, was was definitely issue in the second half, and uh, even in the first half, uh, it wasn't all that great. If you remember, U of A made a three-pointer right before halftime, and even though ASU was still up at halftime, you just feel like the momentum was somewhat shifting towards Arizona. ASU started the second half, I believe it was a 7-0 run, uh, had, had a really great start for the second half, and we talked so many times about the first five minutes of the second half can really determine the outcome of the game, but uh, that really wasn't the case uh, tonight, despite the great opening of the second half for Arizona State. Uh, Arizona, again, because because of the, the three-point shooting, uh, was was able to keep things close, uh, eventually uh, go up uh, five, five, six points. And uh, it was just a seesaw battle uh, in the end, and the, game, and the game went into overtime. What happened in overtime, I think, was the best defensive performance I've seen from Arizona State all year long against a quality opponent, because obviously you have non-conference opponents, which are so inferior to the Sun Devils that you really can draw so much by limiting a team to 30% uh, shooting or something like that. But just keep in mind and take in these numbers by Arizona State's defense. Arizona was 0-4 from the field in overtime. Their only four points came from the three throw line. Xylin Cheatham himself had seven rebounds in five minutes of play in overtime. That's just absolute great defense. Definitely negated, compensated uh, for the very shaky defense that Arizona State displayed uh, early in the game. Uh, this is a team that we know wasn't going to really be shooting lights out like they did uh, last year with, with the three senior guards. A team that was going to win with defense, and uh, tonight was just a perfect example. Even though the defense wasn't that great for the first 40 minutes, the last five minutes, that's what counted for Arizona State. Talk a little bit about their offense. You already touched on it a little bit. But they were shooting 75% from the floor deep into the second half. Their offense was not smooth at all. What were you seeing? Yeah, I mean, despite that 75% shooting deep in the second half, and I think it was just over 60% uh, for the second half, the Arizona State offense really was not flowing smoothly at all. It just seemed like U of A was getting baskets with so much more ease compared to Arizona State. Now, again, on the scoreboard, obviously, kind of didn't matter all that much because the game the game was tied and Arizona State was able to come back from that late uh, late second half deficit uh, that that, uh, that that Arizona um, ha that the advantage say Arizona had on, um, on on Arizona State but um, but I think on offense uh, the obviously the biggest uh, takeaway is the absolute sensational game by Remy Martin. Now, what's interesting about Remy Martin, and Bobby Hurley talked a lot about this in recent weeks, that he wanted his point guard to find that golden path, if you will, that perfect balance between distributing the ball and shooting the ball. And it seemed like not a, up until the last week or two has Remy Martin found that balance. And tonight, when you look at his stat line, not only a career-high 31 points, eight assists, and more importantly, and I think this probably should be the most impressive stat of them all, one turnover. Uh, so th there's no doubt that even if Arizona State's offense wasn't running all that smoothly, uh, Remy Martin at least was not turning over the ball uh, in, in, in droves, if you will, and uh, really really um, uh, turned into a great game. Uh, Rob Edwards uh, was, was in double digits. Romello Wright was, was in double digits. Again, like I said earlier, it wasn't really a smooth operating offense uh, for Arizona State, but they really turned really turned it up uh, in, in overtime, and that's and, and that's that's really matters. And this is a win that uh, Arizona State fans were waiting for were waiting for quite a while because we've seen all this growth under under Bobby Hurley, 
and you're waiting for some statement win, if you will, to back up that growth to show that, yes, indeed, this team is, is, is taking a step forward. Remember, even last year, sure, they made the NCAA tournament, but uh, they played below average or maybe even way below average in Pac-12 play. You're just feeling that maybe now uh, Arizona State is really able to able to hit hit, hit its stride after not not such a great start to Pac-12 play, and a win like this uh, in Arizona. I'm uh, sorry, against Arizona. Sure, it's sure it's uh, it's in the W column, and that's the most important thing at the end of the day. But also something that mentally can give this team a lot of momentum. Speaking of momentum, they've won four of their last five games. Are we seeing the best basketball from this team? It's kind of a hard question to answer because, again, if you're just looking at the bottom line, wins and losses, yes, because Arizona State right now is sitting at six Pac-12 wins. They had eight total uh, last year. I'd like to think that they would ex eclipse that uh, it, it, it would mark uh, between now and, and, uh, and mid-March. Mid uh, so in that sense, sure, you, you can say that Arizona State is in somewhat a good role. But the offense really is not is not running smoothly. I, I mean, when we look uh, even games against Oregon State and Oregon, uh, Arizona State I think made life much more difficult than than it really should have against UCLA, uh, a UCLA team that doesn't look anything like like previous UCLA teams. Again, uh, it was not a win that was really a thing of beauty. Now, you, I'm sure you can say that there's no such thing as an ugly win, and to some extent I, I do subscribe uh, to, uh, to, to that notion. But when you ask me if, if it's the best that Arizona State has played. It's it really it's really a kind of kind of a hard question to answer, but I just feel that, in terms of momentum, in terms of a role that Arizona says on, yes, I think uh, this is something that's really really important. It's something that cannot that, that cannot be overstated, and uh, they got a huge uh, weekend of games uh, coming up against against the Washington schools. Not sure Washington State on Thursday. Uh, you don't want to call any game a gimme, but yes, that should be the W column as well. Huge game. Saturday next week host, hosting Washington and remember due to the rotation this is the only time the two teams meet Arizona State does not travel to Seattle so they have a chance they have only one chance uh, to beat easily the best team in the uh, best team in the Pac-12 right now again uh, if you win that game it's not only um, a mark in your W column it's just a huge uh, momentum a huge confidence uh, boost and obviously we talk a lot about NCAA tournament resumes. That is something that can boost your resume tenfold. So not to overlook Washington State on Thursday, and I'm sure Bobby Hurley will say that all week uh, leading up to that contest. But uh, a huge, huge opportunity for Arizona State to show that winning four, four out of five, winning tonight against Arizona was definitely not a fluke and maybe a sign that this Sun Devil team is finally turning the corner, finally stringing some wins together because I think ASU fans have really had uh, enough with, with all these splits, whether it's at home or on the road. So uh, maybe the Sun Devils are, are, just, are just getting on a roll right, uh, right at the right time, uh, end of January, uh, th throughout February, and obviously going into March. It's interesting to see uh, how it goes, but I think that, um, again, it may not be a thing, of, a thing of beauty, but Arizona State will gladly take uh, th that 6-3 and three Pac-12 record uh, right now and obviously try to build on it next week and the weeks to come. Thank you so much, Hode. Like Hode said, ASU takes on the Washington schools next week, so keep it locked in right here at devilsdigest.com for all of your Sun Devil basketball coverage. For Hode Urbino, I'm Sandy Charles. We'll see you next time.